Okay, welcome to another adventure. It's actually the same day that I fixed that Sherwood. Okay, it's later in the evening, and there's running water upstairs. This is a Vivitech, I guess it's a Vivitech QUMI High Definition Pocket Projector. I don't know really much about these. I guess you can Bluetooth them to your phone or plug HDMI into them or some kind of USB or AV or something. You can project things on the wall. So, hooray. I suppose that's all well and good. I'll cover up the lens so we don't scratch it. But here is the problem with the power jack. It has a DC type power connector and essentially you can put it in there. And unless you hold it in that position, uh, hopefully you can see it illuminated it doesn't seem to get power. If I let go of it, it goes out. So there's probably just something desoldered in there, whatever. Let's pop it apart and take a look. Again, I've been visited by a lot of what we'll call level one repairs, rookie repairs, whatever you want to call them. But, you know, you just, somebody's got to do it. So it might as well be me, just because reasons. So. See, there are screws in there, and they look like they are hell if I can even tell what kind of screw that is. I might need to get a very high-powered light to see them. They look like tiny Phillips, so let me go get a tiny Phillips screwdriver. Okay, so after taking the screws out of the bottom part, um, the top part comes off. I've never had one of these apart before, so we're all learning this together, I suppose. We've got a lithium-ion battery sitting here, and then our circuit board, which doesn't look like our circuit board. Now, our circuit board is all the way under the lithium-ion battery, so we're going to have to disconnect the battery, which I think is just held on by tape. And then hopefully I can remove this circuit board. Our, our DC jack is uh, this one right here, and we're going to look for mucked up solder joints there. So, let's see, how do we remove the battery? Um, it looks like it's, it just looks like it's taped on there. This is like sticky tape of some sort. Maybe this just peels off. Let's see, peel that. <clears throat> Come on, children. And we want to be nice to this, because I like to uh, not stab a big hole in the battery. From what I understand, lithium-ion batteries do not like to be stabbed. So let's peel that back. Let's see if that loosens the end of this. Will that actually lift up now? Um, it appears to. It's uh, So I think this is just taped down. And then it plugs in over here. Actually, it's soldered down to there, so we're going to be taking this part off and then once that comes off this should like pull up and flip over and then lay over here. I'll figure it out if there's anything different I'll let you know. Okay so more tape underneath the battery but I was right it's all there was tape and then it's soldered to these posts here and then it looks like we have a plug under this piece of tape that can probably be unplugged so yeah, that can be unplugged, maybe. These ribbon cables are so stinking tiny and delicate, I'd rather not if I don't have to, but if I'm going to get in here, I'm going to have to undo a few of these. And should be four looks like four Phillips screws on the corner and I'm going to just end up obstructing your view. So, looks like there's a couple connectors over here that unplug and my goal here is to get this board flipped over so I can inspect the solder connections. Okay, so annoyingly small does not even begin to tackle what I'm seeing here. And I have a feeling the camera isn't going to be able to focus on anything this close. But uh, looks like about the best I can do. This jack is entirely mounted on the surface. It is not does not have any pins that go through to the other side. See over here, there are no 
pins that come through, the, just the plastics. So it looks like the back end, the rear power pin, which is this right there, that looks like that's pulled off the board, so that's why lifting it up seems to get the job done. So we're going to heat that up with the soldering iron, maybe put just a smidge of solder on it, and uh, hope we win. So apparently at the factory, like I say, the point's right there. They really lacked putting enough solder on there. Um, it took me two tries, but I got it, uh, got a little bit more solder on there, and I've got it to stick. And now, if I try to wiggle this a little bit, I don't have to hold it in any particular position. I just plug it in, and it seems to work. So, um, I'll be putting this back together. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five connectors to put back in, and then we should be hopefully operational. Okay, so it's obviously getting power and it's functioning. It's beaming its little logo up on that thing. I don't know if I could beam it on the wall over here and actually see it. I probably could. And apparently it has an Android-ish looking type menu thing of some sort. We'll look at that on the wall in a little bit, but it appears that that surface mount solder jack just had the main uh, positive voltage lead disconnected and it looks like we got all the wires back on so we'll put the lid back on and give it a look well for as tiny as it is it sure is bright and out of focus but I'm broadcasting pretty close to the wall um, that's weird it looks more focused on the camera than it does on the wall I'm sure there's some kind of focus lever or adjustment or something and it doesn't weigh anything. I guess I can just pick it up and back up. Do 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 do. There we go. That looks a little better. Photo, video, music, document, app store, download, apps, Wi-Fi, and settings. Okay. Well, I guess it's got a lot of features. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, I keep pointing down at my mixer. Hey, remember that thing? We fixed that a while back. That's the PV mixer. I use it. It's hooked to the computer. Okay. Anyway, it works. Problem solved. Have a great day.